Good morning. We are at Rusutsu Resort this morning and uh, I'm going to take on a new challenge today. We're going to put the camera on the chest and we're going to try to go for a street photography style at the ski resort. Rusutsu Resort. My home mountain. I started snowboarding here about 35 or more years ago and definitely one of my favorite places. Today, kind of a gray, a gray day. It might be a black and white day. <laughs> Um, all right, let's do it. You're going on the chest, and uh, let's see what we see today at Resistance Resort. Street photography on the mountain. First order of business. Let's get the gear properly arranged. Okay. Check out our camera setup for the day. Sony A7R5. Beautiful camera. Okay. Got the crop set to 4x3 today. So we're going to see some, uh, some slightly cropped images on the screen. I like the 4x3. Um, because this stuff is all going to the social media. And the social media needs to be cropped a little bit anyway. There we go. We can, why not? Let's go to black and white here for a minute. Let's go to black and white. Use the creative look. Doesn't affect the raw images anyway. Where is it? SH, Vivid, there's black and white. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. Using the uh, focus peaking, I like yellow, especially for the winter. I think it stands out more. The red, I don't know, maybe just my eye. I don't see the red as easily as the yellow. See that? That yellow pops up really nice. Let's you know you got some focus going. Let's get that guy in the corner, maybe. I got uh, auto ISO on today as well, just to sort of save my, make life easier, you know? Auto ISO, let that uh, camera do its thing. I'm not so worried about the ISO right now. Especially if I'm just shooting off the screen. If I got the camera up to my face with the viewfinder, I'll spend more time to get the uh, aperture and shutter speed and everything dialed in, but sort of shooting on the fly here and again knowing that it's just going to social media these photos are all going to be used uh, for people viewing them on a smartphone or you know computer at the best I highly doubt any of these photos will ever be printed or hung on a wall boy that kind of sounds depressing when you say it that way <laughs> On skis today, skiing and photography works great. I'm better on the snowboard, but you don't have to take your foot off to stop and get photos. And that's what's great about skiing. Okay, here we go. Okay, crank down these boots a little bit so I can hopefully ski properly.
love it. Black and white. So much more inspiring. Love the black and white. Might actually get some shots right here, straight off the bat. Yeah, we got a little group of skiers doing some little lesson or something here. Uh-oh, my battery just ran out. Oh, man. Okay. A little cold. Okay. Always check your batteries in the morning, folks. I did, but I was like, oh, there's 30% left. That'll get me something. It did not get me that much, actually. Wow, look at this, look at this view. This is awesome. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're getting some views here today. We are deaf. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, wow. I love it. Just a lone group on the course. Kind of landscapey style. Landscapey, is that a word? I don't think that's a word. Zoom in. Ooh, cold fingers today. Make a couple turns to get warmed up. I do kind of like this view from this corner. Just get a nice look down at the, uh, the quad station there. Take a quick snapshot. Get something of this. Ooh, sounds icy. Couple snowboarders. Nice little group. Ooh. Oh. Oh, some of the cool little pose, the poles on the back of the neck. I like it, I like it. Everybody's got their own style, you know? Okay, let's see. Now, do I take the quad or do I head down to the gondola? I think I'm going to head down to the gondola. Okay. Here we go. Back at it. All right, some good stuff here, straight away. If you're enjoying the view. It's nice quality snow, there's not much of it. But the snow is like, pretty nice. 
All right. Yeah, I'm gonna head down to the gondola. Not many people, no, not many people here today in general. Not many people come down to the gondola first thing. They like to hit the lift. And it is a little flat and it feels a little slow to get down here. Today especially, it's a little slow. But it was a good workout for a little skating with the skis here. Okay. Here we go. So, we'll get a nice long gondola ride to organize things. And uh, now that we've had our warm up run, Videographer, it's gonna be your gloves. Like seriously important. I don't know, my fingers get cold. Uh, I'm working on my circulation as much as I possibly can with sauna and cold showers, but the fingers still get cold. It's very cold here. So I had a really great pair of gloves. They were made by Lecky. Lecky makes these poles as well. Um, I bought them actually in Finland a couple years ago and they were like a nice leather. They broke in really nice. They were soft. They were thick though. They had a lot of insulation, but you could still feel and touch all the buttons on the camera. And Sony cameras are pretty small. The buttons are pretty small and uh, you need a kind of sensitive fingers. So I used them so much, they broke, got a hole in uh, one of the fingers. You touch the snow a lot when you snowboard and you, you definitely wear through uh, the fingers on the gloves. So I got these new, well new to me, Hestra gloves. And the fingers and the, the sensitivity, it's just not as good to be honest with you. It's not as good. Now they've broken in quite a bit. This is like year two, I guess, or yeah, season two using them properly. And uh, they are good and I did change the inner. So you'll want to get a good inner. It comes with like this sort of fleece inner that you, you, it does, you don't want to pull it out. Let's put it that way. This one is made of a nylon material so no snow will stick to it. And I can take this out. I can touch the camera with much more sensitivity and also touch the snow, brush it off, and then put my hand back in the shell when we do some proper writing. But I also, as you can see, shoot mostly just like this. There's, it's too much trouble to take the shell off every single time you wanna get a photo. So unless I'm stopping and gonna concentrate for a couple minutes, I usually just shoot like this. So it, it is kinda unwieldy, but you know, as long as you can hit the shutter button and a couple of like the plus minus dial or you know, if I'm getting into any detailed settings, of course, then I'll take off the gloves. And you want to have something that has one of these, a little wrist gaiter, so that you can just take your gloves off. Because most of the time I'm doing it with my mouth. That's the usual maneuver. And then you want to be able to put it back in easily. And I also, these obviously go, they're over types so they go over the jacket. Generally easier to do that than trying to stuff your gloves underneath your jacket every single time. So I like this to be nice and loose. Be able to put the hand in and with like a single pull it's pretty much on there. A little slight adjustment but usually that's not even needed. So there's a lot of thought and a lot of detail that goes into gloves for photographers. Uh, but no one is designing gloves for photographers. We're starting to see the frost on the trees here. 
Really beautiful. If you can get a look at that. Yeah, very nice. Very much a black and white kind of a scene today. Um, let's try sticking the camera out the window here. What do we got? I'm gonna crank it down a little bit. Go to like an F8. F8 at 1000. Again, ISO is on auto today just to sort of be able to use the settings that I have. Ooh, there's a nice little hole. A little view between the trees of more trees. Another one. Oh, there's a good one. Beautiful. You know the course. You know, sometimes people will just come down. Like, I love shooting just random people. Here's someone. Here's someone coming. Let's see if we can get a shot. Every now and then, you know. Uh, I don't know if that was great, but every now and then someone will come down the course and just give you this beautiful shot. Ooh, maybe. What did that look like? See that? <laughs> I love it. Just this sort of random randomness of the timing, you know? There's some more people going through the trees. But you gotta be ready for it. Ah, the trees, the Rasutsu trees, they are so beautiful, aren't they? The beautiful white birch trees covered in snow. Right now we're having kind of some warming and cooling going on, so there's a lot of snow really caked on the trees. It's very nice. Oh yeah, that looks good too. Nice. All right, good stuff. I have a little bit of a, a project going on here. Not just me, but also with uh, Jimmy who shoots photos with me here at Rusutsu. And we're trying to capture each course and make a little sort of uh, a post, make a little post about each course. I don't know if we'll be able to cover every single course on the mountain. There's a lot of courses here. But it's nice to capture some photos uh, of the courses. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Oh, there's some random person. Hard to see if that looks good or not. Let's see. Oh, let's use the viewfinder for a change. The black and white in the viewfinder. I love it. It's definitely one of the great things about digital mirrorless photography. You can set the color profile to be what you want to see in the viewfinder, and yet at the same time, you're still getting that raw data that can be processed later as a color photo if you change your mind. So that is a kind of a nice thing <laughs> to have some options. Okay. We're coming up on the Steamboat Bowl. Getting a little view here. I wonder what it uh, what it feels like in the trees. We'll have to, ah, that's right, I'm on skis. My skiing, usually I stick to the courses. My skiing in the trees is not that great, especially with a bunch of heavy and expensive camera equipment on my back. I like to, uh, Stay to the courses. Stay safe. This is another good thing about the, the Sony screen here. You can kind of get these impossible angles. Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Where's my zone focus? Oh, gondola. Okay. Let's get one more. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Good session in the gondola. Burning through the gigabytes today. All righty. Here we are. So this is the convergence of a whole bunch of gondolas and lifts at the top of Mount Isola. Uh, I kind of had a little plan in my brain to go all the way out to the farthest for <laughs> to the course that is most distance from the parking lot. <laughs> I can't even speak English today. Oh man, pretty bad. Um, there's a course called Heavenly View. 
is the eastern, most eastern course. It is on the far eastern side of Rizutsu Resort. So I think I'm going to head over there, see if I can cover that course, get a bunch of photos of it from different angles, maybe do one lap on the lift, and then we shall uh, see what happens. Don't you love these trees? Beautiful. Beautiful, but if I pull out the camera here, I'll get stuck here for like another 15 minutes. So today, we're just going to keep on cruising. Let's go to Heavenly View and see what we can see. Hey. Hey. Yeah. All right. See, that's what I love about skiing. Just step in and go, man. <laughs> I do enjoy using uh, both tools, snowboarding and skiing. And uh, my goal is definitely to be able to do both at a very high level. The skiing is, like I said before though, the best with the photography. You just stop, you just stop, plant your poles and then pull out your camera. You don't have to try to balance, you know? Snowboarding is like, it's great as, as it is, but when you're trying to do something else at the same time, it's very difficult. Okay, get a nice shot of the sign here. Let's start with that. Skiing off trail is forbidden. <laughs> I love that. They got that sign. Skiing off trail is forbidden. And yet that is the entire reason that thousands of people come here every year. Pay big money to go ski off the course. Uh oh, what's going on here? Hello? My camera? Is that battery dead? Oh no! Looks like I, uh, this battery was no good. Let's try that one more time. Oh, here it comes. Let's have a look. No, 95%, that was weird. Okay. Uh, see, that's the thing with these digital newfangled cameras. They're like, a, it's like this super high-tech uh, computer in, you know, a classic camera body. So sometimes it, it acts like a computer, it'll freeze up. It just wouldn't turn on there. That was very strange. What do you got here? Basically, a sign in a very white, snowy background. Don't know if that's all that exciting. You can try a vertical. Why not? I should have a quick, quick look. Ah, actually, it's pretty nice. Let's get a little closer. Get something hardy. No one here, man. Okay, here come a couple of people. Crazy. Maybe uh, the Heavenly View course is going to be rather foggy today. Oh well. What do we got here? Oh, nice. Let's see. Oh, here's the. All right, Gambate. Gambate. All right, let's go make a couple turns and get down to where the course actually starts. Oh, Visibility is kind of a uh, flat light for sure. Okay, now I can kind of see. Oh, there's a little snow here. It's kind of nice. We kind of came out of the fog, strong 
off winds. Look at these trees. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. It's a good thing about enjoying photography. Like if I didn't have the camera today and I was just here and I had bought a pretty expensive lift ticket to go skiing, it might not be the greatest day. But uh, with the camera, it gives you a whole new view on things. Wow, look how beautiful it is. You can kind of approach the, approach the day with a different mindset. Okay, that is the, I forgot the name of the lift, but that is the lift that accesses the Heavenly View course, which starts right over there. So I'm gonna grab a shot of this real quick. See, plant the poles, pull out the camera, easy. I don't have to like struggle to keep my balance. Looks like some things coming in today. Okay, camera works. Nice. One more. Let's uh, keep the camera out and go over there. Let's see if these guys carve for us. Yeah. Coming down. You're gonna get your photo, buddy. Yeah. Wait for his friend. Thought he's gonna wait for his friend. Let's get a view in here. Oh, just today. Gorgeous. Okay, there we go. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's nice with only like two people on the course. Making some turns. Heel side. Yeah, baby. One more person on skis. We got here, this is the Heavenly View course, folks. So it does split, as you can see, that one guy went left, and the skier too. This guy's got it all to himself, man. Yeah, okay. Couple of photos there. Nice. Maybe, uh, wait a minute. Skier's still on the course. Looks like he's trying to get into the trees there. All right, let's just get the course with nobody on it. It's kind of nice. F8 at 1000, ISO 200, that's great. Oh, got another challenger here. He's got his phone out. Get the glove on photo. Oh, he's getting the selfie. Doing the selfie shot. I love it. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Snowboarder with the smartphone selfie. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Maybe we can, uh, we can get really arty here. Get something of the course from the trees. How's that sound? And this gives us a little test of what the snow is like in here. Ah. Okay, it's not quite what I thought it was gonna be. We can get people coming off the lift though. This could be cool. What's that? Oh, ah, that was not quite what I wanted, but okay. Maybe we could go with a little slow shutter action. What do you think of that? Why don't we bring this down to like 160th? 160th. We're gonna have to go to like uh, F16 or something though. All right. I need to get a little closer. Let's go back over here. Woo. Yeah, this, there we go, there we go.
Okay. Here comes more people. It's kind of fun. I'm going to go focus mode, tracking, wide. All in black. What is this slow shutter effect doing here? Okay. Ooh, nice sharp focus on the person. A little blur in the background. I love it. The tracking slow focus. Very nice. Okay, let's keep moving. Don't wanna to wait too long in one spot. Let's keep it moving. Skiing with my camera out. Smooth groomers. Nice. Okay. So here's where the course kind of splits in two. You can go left or you can kind of keep going straight or to the right there. We've got some more people coming. Let's get a quick shot of this. The trees look amazing. And, uh, okay, we got some skiers in coming hot here. Let's get that slow focus action going again. I mean, slow shutter speed. Come on, focus. Let's go take a photo of the other sign here. So, the official names here. Heavenly View Intermediate is the one going kind of straight there. And then Heavenly Ridge B is the one going left. Okay. Get a shot of the sign. Real quick like. Snowboarder, get in stick. Oh nice, here we go. There's a shot, there's a shot. Thank you. I love it. I love you. Not like a, you know, not like a physical love, but like a mental love. Did you see that? Check that out. We just got a nice shot. See, this has made my whole day. That guy did a good turn. I had the sign in the frame. I don't think you can really see that very good, but I'll put it in later. That looked great. Okay, my day has been made. I could literally go home right now, but I won't. Ah, yes! Another shot here. Woo. Another sign, blue one. There we go. Pull that back a little bit. One thirty-five. Okay. Uh, boy. I think we could say the mountain is pretty empty today. I'm gonna go straight first. We'll do another lap. Ooh. And then, uh, then we'll do that. That other course. Okay. Ooh, snowboarders with style. I love it. The arms looking good. Nice. Tracking on. Yeah. Yeah. The little wrist. The little wrist tweak. <laughs> Beautiful. You're making my day, buddy. Let's uh let's go back up with the shutter speed to like five hundredth or something here. I feel like that was a little too slow. Who else we got coming? Let's go back up to a thousandth of a second at F8. Uh, what do we got? Buddy? Some turns. Okay, we got two skiers. Sometimes I like to see, oh here, it's a skier filming another skier. Okay, never mind. 
great day for the sort of learning skier or inter like low low intermediate i don't know what you call it did practice with not so many people on the course okay i don't see a lot of style coming down the hill right now but there are more people coming this is gonna make it uh more interesting find another position keep moving keep moving Why not? A couple of random shots of movement here. Ooh. Oh, that's a great view. It's kind of a nice section. Gives us a view both uphill and downhill at the same time. What do we got? Oh, there's our carver again. Yeah, nice. Nice. The trees in the background, very beautiful. Thank you, that was nice. Just throwing out thank yous to everybody. Passed on that one. Keep moving, keep moving. Should we go through the tunnel? Why not? Hey, hey. we can have a little fun too. It's not all work. Another fun thing about taking photos like this, you, you end up stopping a lot, looking back. That's like a view you just don't get when you're just skiing. You're always looking down the mountain when you ski, right? Stop and look back up that often. This could be really nice if someone did like a really nice turn right up in there somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here comes someone. Good, good work, good work. Not the super stylish, but that's all right. It's all right. How about a turn right there, buddy? Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Um, keep hot. Keep, keep it going. So here on the Heavenly View course, got a lot of these white birch trees and famous for. And then down at the bottom here, we'll start to see these fir trees or pine trees. I'm not sure exactly what kind of tree they are. But it's a nice contrast. I like it. And then in the background, you have that other kind of, I believe that is the uh, Kanama. It's a Hokkaido tree that turns this beautiful rust color in late fall. And uh, they're gorgeous. Right now they're they're leafless. Oh, this is a great shot, actually. I like it. It's a little cinematic. We got two people standing down there at the bottom right. We got these other this other couple doing their little ski lesson. Very cool. Let's see. They get in a really good position. Zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a story going on there. I like that. One more. We got some people coming out of the trees. Powder hunters. We got to try to do a little people photography today, too. Ooh, a new character has entered the scene. Who we got here? Okay, that was good. I like that. Um, Fingers getting rather cold. I'm gonna put the camera away for a moment. Try and warm up the fingers. Oh, there comes a stylish snowboarder. As soon as I put away the camera. Oh, a whole crew. And someone's filming. Okay. It's your time to be a star. Here we go. Oh, this is cool. Okay, what do we got? Anybody else? Everybody's filming their friends today. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Whew. 
Yeah, let's enjoy, let's enjoy. A little soft snow on the side here. Nice view there, actually. All right. Well, I'm so happy that I got that one shot, that guy with the sign. That was kind of like a little magical moment there. I think that's gonna be my favorite shot of the day but you don't know we might get some more we might get some more oh we're going against the wind here i'll tell you that much it's a very kind of northwesterly wind today so that's the other horse that comes down well, we're going to take that one next we're going to do the do the full heavenly view scene today Ah, oh, saw that wind. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera and uh, we'll get on this lift. And I'll see you at the top. Back up at the top. Just got off the lift. Nice another uh, sign here. Get a little shot. That's kind of beautiful with the trees in the background there. Vertical. Okay. So we're gonna do the Heavenly Ridge B, that course that cuts off to the left. We might get something here in the beginning though. Let's go stake out a good spot. Stay high up here. Try to find a cool angle. Try a couple of those slow shutter shots again. That might be kind of fun. What do you think? Ooh, style, style, style master. Staying low. Ooh, I love it. Oh, good stuff. Thank you. So nice. Oh, is that Pepe? Ooh. Yes, beautiful snowboarding. Very nice. Okay, getting more good stuff here. The level of skill among the the snowboarders who come here and do a lot of carving is so high. You can just stand here and get really great photos. Be impressed. Okay. I like this. Here, here. One goes in to the course, 
Might be able to get a nice shot from behind here. Here come some people. Where are you gonna go? Patrol. Huh. You got some kind of like, what is that? Patrol. Okay. It's a nice shot. Cruising. I like it. How about a nice shot? I like snowy tree branches in focus. Person on the course in the background out of focus. That could be good. Let's try something that's down at like an F5.6. We need to crank up the shutter speed a little bit. Go to 3200. That could be a good option as well. Shallow depth of field. Try a couple shallow depth of field shots here. In street photography, they talk about hunting and fishing. Hunting is where you like just continuously move. You just keep hunting for photos. And fishing is where you just like post up stay somewhere for a little while and just wait for something to happen. And I think for me, in the mountains, it's definitely a combination of the two. So I don't like to stay in one spot too long, but you do kind of have to stop. Otherwise everything just gets really blurry really quick. <laughs> okay, we're in the heavenly, uh, heavenly ridge beach, was it? Okay. Sometimes, because I've been snowboarding so long, and I'm kind of a, a curator of snowboarding, sometimes I just can't push the trigger on certain styles of snowboarding. <laughs> snowboarding is a... Uh, it's tricky. It's a, it's a, it's, it's not super hard, but it is kind of hard to make it look really good. I think that is probably the, the key thing with snowboarding. Okay, we got some action here. Whole bunch of snowboarders incoming. Looks like we got a little carving crew here. It's great. Okay. Could be some action. Ooh. Double heel side. Ooh. What another one? Toe side. Okay. They went to the other course. Now we got some skier. We got a mix skiers. We got a mixed bag. Okay. Ooh, this is nice. There's a whole bunch of people up there now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, here comes someone into my zone. Good turns, thank you. Nice. What else we got? We're definitely in a fishing mode right now. Yeah, oh nice. Everybody's got the swallowtails out today. That's cool. Okay, that was a good little session. I feel like I caught something there. I caught some fish. Let's go down a little bit further, get another new, new view. I feel like I want to be on the other side now. Okay, nice little spot. We might get something, people going over that little ridge there. Kind of looks cool.
Yeah, that is pretty nice actually. There we go. Okay. I like that, I like that. Nobody coming. Excellent. There's actually some great powder zones over here on the left. Maybe not today, but uh, I've had some good lines up in those trees there. Fun stuff. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Someone in the lift line when I was down below there. Uh, British or Australian, I'm not quite sure. The guy was like, best groomers in the world. That was his comment. Like the best groomers in the world. And, uh, I, you know, I, I've have not had the pleasure of trying every groomer in the world, unfortunately, but I, I kind of agree. Pretty nice. The snow is amazing. You know, even though it hasn't snowed a lot, it's so smooth and they have it groomed so nicely. Pretty hard to beat. Just get a couple of tree shots here. Nice. Sometimes it's nice when it's just empty and there's no people. Okay. Here comes a solo rider. I like, I like. Yeah, some little style. A little personal style. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? You gonna throw something out? Disappeared once. Solo on the course. I love it. Landscape. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. See, as soon as I get something, I feel like I can move on to the next position. It's like, that's enough. Let's go. Woo! Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it is good to eat today. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh, that was nice. Oh yes. So the other day I did a little shoot with my daughters at another ski resort. And we did a little lesson. It was like a little rental and lesson scene. And the girls were great. They're always so supportive. And uh, so this teacher was actually like, he was nice. He was really spending the time to teach my daughter how to ski, ski better. And, uh, you know, I was just videotaping the whole thing, filming it. And uh, I was listening and he was, it was like, I was actually learning stuff about skiing watching this guy teach my youngest daughter. And uh, really, you know, how you gotta get your weight on that inside edge. And you like have to lift up your, lift up your foot to come down, you know? Yeah, it's like, I'm always like on both skis kind of evenly. And it's like focusing more on really getting in on that, that inside edge, the uphill edge. When you make the turn, bring it over, bring your other foot in, doing the same on the other side. Yeah, so today when I'm skiing, I'm actually like remembering what the guy was saying the other day in that ski lesson going, yeah, okay, that's what I gotta do. Concentrate on that inner edge. Okay. Oh, okay, someone's coming. Let's get one more shot here before we wrap it up. Here we go. This guy has got the super close stance. Classic. Classic style. Straight shot. Okay, wait, here comes someone. Could be good. Yeah, the wide poles. The wide pole. The wide pole look. That's the old, I don't know what to do with my poles. That's the thing with skiing, I'll tell you. 
I've had the pleasure of shooting with a couple really good skiers and for photos it's all about the poles man pole position like how are you holding those poles that is what makes it look cool or not cool it just shows control if you got the poles in the right position you know like just off the just off the snow not all flailing up here that's what looks good with skiing oh we're getting some sunlight now bring it are we gonna get like sunlight and shadows now all of a sudden have my positive vibes affected the weather that's a kind of nice shot I do love these uh, these pine trees they're very nice especially when they got some snow on them hey 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 we're starting to get some shadows we're starting to get some shadows I'm not complaining okay let's let's go down and there's one more course that's like over here we're gonna shoot that see i'm really concentrating on that inner edge <laughs> inner edge lift the foot inner edge lift the foot inner edge lift the foot mantra it's my ski mantra inner edge lift the foot over the ridge Woo, that felt good yeah here we go okay Nice. Fresh groomers. Hey, hey, okay, okay. Well, I don't know how much more battery I have here, but thanks for hanging with me. I'll just say that now in case the battery dies. This is the other course I was thinking of come down and get some more shots so we'll do one more lap here Quick top at the bottom I forget what the name of this course is but it, it's got a couple of really nice steep sections and you can see the lift in the background there which is always a little added bonus there's a shot plus we're gonna be getting some sunlight here yeah okay we got a nice little crew four people here yeah, a little spray. Thank you. Maybe vertical. Let's see if we... We'll stay here and fish for a little bit longer. And uh, see if we can get like... One or two more people real quick. Just someone coming over the top there with the lift. The background, it's not a bad shot. The light, though, I don't know, though. Actually, I've changed my mind. It's not a great shot. Okay, I'm gonna go get back on the lift. I'll meet you back at the top. Stop recording.